Hey SP fam, carnivores, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Bella the Steak and Butter Gal. I hope you all are having a meat-fueled, amazing day as usual. And drop a comment down below and let me know how you all are doing on your carnivore journeys. Feel free to also connect with me further on Instagram, at Steak and Butter Gal, for even more carnivore tips, tricks, and recipes. So in this video, it's all about carnivore diet tips. And there's no better way to talk about carnivore diet tips than with fellow carnivore experts, carnivore people who I look up to, who inspire me every day, and who have inspired me to go carnivore myself. And throughout the video, I will be dispersing some of my best carnivore diet tips to help all of you guys even more. And feel free to also share and drop your best carnivore diet tips in the comments while you watch this video. So without further ado, let's hear all of the amazing carnivore diet tips from these fellow carnivore experts. Lots of new viewers will be watching Watching this video and they want the best tip to start the carnivore diet. What's your best tip? So keep it simple. Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. If it ain't that, don't eat it. If it is that, eat all you want. You don't have to portion control. You don't have to calorie count. Eat until you're comfortably stuffed of those four foods. Uh, there are other styles of carnivore. That's the one that I find to be the easiest, the quickest, and the least expensive. Excellent. I, th I think exactly right, uh, right. I think you should just keep it very, very simple. This is the simplest diet in the world. You know exactly what you can eat, what you cannot eat. You don't have to eat at any certain times. You don't have any certain portion controls, any calorie counting. You eat until you're satiated. And so it works very, very well for, for people because you tailor it to your own uh, experience and to your own needs. And um, other than that, I think the biggest tip is that once you have it in your head, you know, strike while the iron's hot, do it, start it, and get on it. Um, if you can, just sort of get rid of everything else out of your house. Just toss it out, throw it away, mm -hmm. and just start fresh just by meat. It's like if, if you're going to quit smoking, but you're going to keep a uh, closet full of cigarettes, well, why is that? Well, because you're assuming that you're going to fail. You're assuming that you're going to want to come back to it, and you're going to want those once you do. So really commit to it. Strike while the iron's hot. Don't, well, next month, maybe 95% of people won't do that. So if you have it in your head and this is something you want to do, just do it. So my first carnivore diet tip for you all is to be careful of hot cooked, rendered, and liquid fats. What do I mean by that? For example, when you cook your ground beef, you will notice that golden ooey gooey liquid fat that oozes out of the ground beef meat. That liquid fat right there could cause so many of my new carnivores to have loose stools, diarrhea, acid reflux, heartburn, and even nausea. So if you're new to the carnivore diet, and especially if you are experiencing any of the symptoms I just listed, I would be very cautious and possibly cut out completely any type of liquid, hot, and rendered fats. And instead, swap it with some cold and solid fats. For example, cold beef fat, tallow, beef fat trimmings, or my favorite, cold butter. You can simply just add all of these cold solid fats to all of your favorite carnivore meals so that you can continue enjoying these meals and not have to deal with symptoms like heartburn, acid reflux, diarrhea, and nausea. What is your top best tip to start carnivore? Keep it simple. Well, that's the beauty of carnivore and steak and butter. Gee, where did that come from? Steak and butter gang, <laughs> gal, the team. And and basically, this is such an easy nutritional solution for human beings. Mm -hmm. And if it's difficult, you're not going to want to do it. Right. But with simplicity, and, and I always say steak, and I, I'm a bacon, eggs, butter, beef, kilts is ice cream yes. from time to time never needs sugar by the way and salt but essentially find something simplistic in this whether you like chicken at butter whether it's burgers at butter mm. but i love ribeye steak and it has a lot of lot of fat on it i add a little bit of butter uh sometimes a little bit of blue cheese but mm. always some salt and that's the really the simplest tip here. Now, if you like lamb or pork or goat or elk or, or bison, go for it. And there's some variety. Yes. But I'm boring. <laughs> and the best way to the best in life is actually boring. Yeah. Narrow as an arrow hits the target every time. And you're capable of all of this. 
Bravo. My second best carnivore diet tip is to stay prepared. And that means meal prepping, always having snacks on hand or eating something before going out always. And with meal prepping, simply just cooking up a bunch of your favorite ground beef patties, ground beef dishes, your favorite steaks, steak bites, any meals that you love on the carnivore diet, batch cook a bunch of it and store it in the fridge. That way, especially if you're busy and you are hungry or have cravings, you always have something ready to go to eat and satisfy your hunger. Having snacks on hand is especially handy if you are always on the go and have a very busy career or lifestyle. Just a few recommended carnivore snacks for you all, sugar-free beef jerky, beef sticks, pork rind chips, and carnivore crisps. Carnivore crisps are great because they are crispy, crunchy meat chips. It's literally meat, but dehydrated into a chip, and they are very delicious, super clean ingredients, and so satisfying, especially if you are craving something crunchy and crispy to snack on. This is what the chip looks like. It's basically the meat cut that you choose dehydrated into a chip. And you guys can hear just how crunchy it is when I take a bite out of it. If you guys are interested in trying these carnivore crisps, I've linked them down below in the description box along with my discount code. What is your best tip for viewers who are ready to start? Well, don't do what I did. Find some people, <laughs> find some people, find some meat. Any meat that sounds appealing. I think some people are like, what should I go buy? I don't know, what meat do you like? Mm. Do you love chicken wings? You should get lots of chicken wings. Oh, yeah. Do you love a ribeye? Get lots of ribeye, yeah. So I wouldn't force down any meats I didn't love, but I would also not go about this just completely on your own unless you feel so confident and you feel great. Exactly. But if anything's going wrong, you and I are both such believers in find some friends, do it together, yeah. um, encourage each other, get some accountability, and also some really solid advice because mm. eat meat is solid yeah. and it really did change my health. Absolutely. But I needed a little bit more than that <laughs> to get it. I love um, how you yeah. keep it simple, Kelly. My next carnivore diet tip for you all is to help you all save more money, how to be budget friendly. So I recommend you all go to your local grocery stores in the morning, right when they open, because that's when they have the best sales manager special and the best deals. Once you see the best deals and the meat that you really want to buy, I highly recommend you just bulk up and buy a bunch of it. Take it home, freeze it, and eat it slowly. That is hands down the best way to save money and make sure you always have meats that you love to eat ready on hand in stock at home. So buy in bulk, especially when you see those great sales and deals and freeze that meat so it can last for months and months on end. What is your best tip for them to start? I guess I'm gonna keep the same theme, mm. which is uh, you may struggle. <laughs> and, and not just because your relationship is not there to help you, but because how you feel, right? Yeah. So I think with any of these dietary patterns that are low carb, you want to be aware of all the symptoms that can occur, headache, fatigue, etc. And if you're having those symptoms, maybe you're just having an electrolyte issue. And mm. if you have that, that's an easy fix. Maybe you're not eating enough fat. We were talking about ribeye earlier yes. and why we love ribeye. Exactly. Uh, we love ribeye because we, it gives us sufficient fat. And with that fat, it makes this journey a lot easier. And a lot of people who do carnivore, they just don't eat enough fat. Mm. So I just think understanding why does a carnivore struggle, mm. making sure you mitigate that by adding those things back, mm. electrolytes, uh, hydration, and of course fat, I think you'll be on an easier journey. Mm -hmm. But the, the main thing is to know there is struggle in life yeah. and struggle makes us stronger. So it's okay to struggle. It's okay to, yes. you know, have a little battle with struggle, but I guarantee you on the other side of struggle, there'll be a victory. And I think for people who haven't tried this, this is going to be amazing. Uh, don't worry about what the neighbor's saying, just try it. And once you try it, it'll probably change your life. And again, if you don't want to live a life of chronic disease, I think kind of worse the way to go. Beautifully said. This next carnivore diet tip is for anyone who experiences meat aversion or palate fatigue. And what does that mean? It's when you get tired of the same old meals, when you don't want to eat any more meat, when you literally cannot take another bite of steak. And as crazy as that sound, it really does happen, especially to my new carnivores who are coming from a diet like the standard American diet where there is so much variety, flavors, consistencies, and textures. So this is where I highly recommend that you lean on variety variety of different types of carnivore foods. So besides the common sense popular choices like beef and lamb, don't forget about seafood. There are tons and tons of different types of seafood, fish, 
mussels, oysters, shellfish, and then there's also chicken, poultry, turkey, pork, all types of pork cuts. And don't forget about the different ways to cook. You can air fry, you can boil hot pot style, you can do a quick sear, you can bake, you can sous vide. So really be creative in the ways you cook it, but also the actual options of carnivore cuts of meat. And finally, don't forget about eggs. Eggs alone, you can cook in thousands of different ways. If you're new here and you have not tried my egg pudding, it is going to change your life. It is actually my mom's recipe and I grew up eating this dish. It is perfect for toddlers, babies, kids, and elderly, and you can make it with your own creative twist. I will make sure to link it down below as well as all of my carnivore recipes I've ever made and filmed in the description box. So check out the links I have linked below. What's your best tip for them? You know, my best tip is really to just do it. Um, just be willing to take that leap of faith. Take 30 days, do the month, do, you know, whether it's World Carnivore Month or it's something else, just take that time for yourself. Uh, and that's probably the second part of the tip is that you have to be doing this for yourself. Don't worry what other people think about it. Don't worry what other people are saying, your family, your friends. This is something that you need to do for yourself and you need to be willing to take the risk. Yeah. And I'm going to put risk in quotations. We think it's a risk, but it's really all benefit. Mm. Um, but just go ahead and do it. You owe it to yourself. Mm. One more question. Can you quickly explain why eating meat and butter does not cause heart cancer? Um, heart, disease heart disease in general. It doesn't cause heart disease or cancer, <laughs> but uh, specifically when we look at heart disease, this is all based around the flawed hypothesis uh, that eating more fat and specifically eating more saturated fat leads to heart disease um, through the intermediary of raising your blood cholesterol. And really both parts of that hypothesis are false and just, again, I am a heart surgeon. I deal with heart disease every day mm -hmm. and I have no reservations recommending for my patients and doing it for myself, mm -hmm. uh, carnivore diets. And the, it's really a myth that eating more red meat is going to be bad for your heart. My next tip is for those who are currently going through adaptation symptoms like headaches, fatigue, and muscle cramping. And this is where electrolytes are really quite important. My best tip, if you do have headaches daily, lower energy, not as much resilience in the gym, and muscle cramping is to salt heavier. Salt all of your carnivore meals generously, not just to taste, but very generously to make sure that your electrolytes are balanced Balanced. Especially if you're coming from a vegan or standard American diet, upon switching to carnivore, your electrolytes will tend to be a little imbalanced for a while, which is why you have symptoms like the muscle cramping, like the headaches and low energy. If salting generously is not enough and you still have those symptoms, then I highly recommend leaning on some high quality electrolyte supplements. The one that I recommend is by Element and they have very high quality clean options, especially if you go with this box, the teal colored one labeled raw unflavored. I recommend the raw unflavored just because there is zero stevia, no flavorings, no sugar, nothing but the three electrolytes that we need. So this is hands down the best one that they offer, but they also offer a bunch of flavored ones, which could be great if you have kids, family, and friends that you wanna share it with. This is what each packet looks like. It's nice and travel friendly. Take a bunch, put it in your bag, take it on the go and put it in whatever beverage you drink usually like iced water, even your coffee, mix it up, drink it down and you are good to go. If you all want a free sample pack, you can get one with any purchase by going to the URL shown on the screen, drinklmnt.com slash SBGAL. I have also linked it down below in the description box. What is your best tip for them? Don't overcomplicate it. Okay. What you eat, uh, from a, the idea of eating what you can afford. Like it, the biggest, the bi one of the biggest hangups I see a lot of people have is, well, it's supposed to be grass fed, grass finished and right. organic and all this kind of stuff. It's like, look, I have people that have had great success going to Walmart and buying a five pound tube of ground beef. Cause it's, it's about what you're cutting out mm. more than what you're adding in. Mm. So get rid of these things, the, the low hanging fruit, the things that are easy to get rid of yeah. and focus on meat. 
And once you're adapted and you're used to this type of lifestyle, then you can play around, tweak, experiment however you want. Great yeah, tip. Absolutely. Uh, one more extra question just for you. Okay. Fitness. Yeah. A lot of my audience members, they don't really know how to incorporate daily movement. Mm -hmm. And of course, I have a lot of females who can't do intense workouts. What are some movements we can incorporate today that are easy and doable? Sure, sure. The biggest thing to understand about fitness and is that anything you do that's more than what you're doing now yeah. is going to help you get better. Mm. Your body will adapt to the things you ask it to do. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. Yeah. Um, there are seven seven things that everyone should be able to do. They're called seven essential movements, okay? okay? You should be able to squat, like sit down in a chair, yes. sit down on the toilet. Yes. You should be able to bend over and pick things up. Mm. You should be able to lunge, walk up and down stairs, mm. okay? You should be able to push things, you should be able to pull things, okay. and you should be able to carry things, yep. and you should be able to twist your body without hurting your back. Mm. So those are the seven basic things, and those are things you can do every day. Mm. It doesn't take a lot. You don't have to go to the gym. Just yeah. your body weight. Just do those movements on a regular basis. Another way to look at it yeah. is find the one thing that's in your life that you feel is physically challenging ah. and just make that easier. Oh. So if walking up and down the stairs is too much for you right now, try to do it more often. It will become easy. So find the thing that's difficult, make it easy, yeah. and then find the next thing that's difficult and make it easy. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to immediately improve your quality of life. And I think maybe like... I think maybe like being mentally aware that, hey, this movement, I'm doing it right now. Does that make a big difference Absolutely. if you're thinking about it? Absolutely. Brain, muscle, mind, muscle connection yeah. and understanding. So we had someone today, one of the guests was bending over to pick up her bag. Yeah. And I stopped. I said, stop. Yeah. Think about what you're doing right now. Okay. You're just you're picking up a bag. Yeah. Exercise isn't about what you do in the gym. Mm. It's about what you do in life. I love that. So bending down to pick up your suitcase, you still need to m have the proper mechanics and do it properly so that you're getting that yeah. repetition and building that habit of moving your body the way it needs to move. Now I'm just going to do every movement like I'm in the gym. Absolutely. Perfect form. Absolutely. Pick That's up the bag. <laughs> yep. My final tip for you all, especially if you are doing this alone and you're feeling a little bit lost and discouraged, is to find a community. Find a tribe to belong to or just connect and link up with like-minded people, carnivores who are doing the same lifestyle, have the same goals as you. So if that means going on Facebook or Instagram or here on YouTube in the comments down below and connecting and linking up with carnivores you relate to, do it. Having an accountability buddy is everything. It keeps you motivated, on track, and accountable. But if you don't want to do that and you just want to have a community ready and available to join so that you can start learning, staying accountable, and connecting with real human beings who are living this carnivore lifestyle, I have one ready for you called the Steak and Butter Gang, and it was created just to help you guys reach your goals, feel amazing on this lifestyle, and stay inspired every single day throughout the year. The community itself is off social media. You will have access to a beautiful website where you can post updates, ask questions, have access to chat boxes that are open 24 seven. And there's also a great app version so you can take the community anywhere you go. For more details on the Steak and Butter Gang and all the perks it offers, just go to sbgmeetup.com shown on the screen or click the links down below for more details. So there you go. Those are all the tips shared by these amazing carnivore experts and by myself. I really hope you found them helpful. Let me know which carnivore tip you like the most down below in the comments and feel free to share your best carnivore tip as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, turn on your bell and notifications to not miss my future videos, and I will see you all in my next video. Have an amazing meat-fueled rest of your day. SVG out.